I want to apologize to you guys for not reading this part of the article properly in my last video on this particular topic, because it clearly says here that UCAD takes the position that until the adjudication process is over and due process is complete, there has not been a finding that a fighter is in breach of its PED protocols and no sanctions can be put in place by the British Boxing Board of Control. So essentially what that means is until the adjudication process is over, which means the investigation, then you're innocent until proven guilty. And therefore, the British Board, Eddie Hearn, etc., have got every right to proceed with the show. So even if they knew about Dylan White's failed test beforehand, according to what it says in this article, they still had the right to continue on and go ahead with the fight. However, in retrospect, I do think back to some things that Dylan White said in the lead up to the fight and after the fight, which would seem to concur with the claim in this article that they had foreknowledge of the failed test before the fight. At the weigh-in, Dylan White was interviewed by Sky and he looked kind of, uh, you know, uncomfortable, maybe, you know, a little upset. And he, he came out with it on Sky. He said, I'm pissed off. And the, the Sky uh, interviewer, you know, apologized for the language and then said, why? And he just said, I'm ready to go. Also, Dylan White was in a car, okay, away from the weigh-in and he refused to come to the weigh-in until his name was called to come up to the stage. This is what they, apparently, uh, the, the MC, Michael Buffer, it was either Buffer or Diamante, who, because both of them were there, both MCs were there, uh, one of them apparently said that, because there, there was a delay before Dylan White's weigh-in, and one of them apparently said that, yeah, Dylan White is not going to come to the stage until it's time for him to weigh in because there's like, I think kind of a holding area where all of the fighters and the, the press and all of their teams kind of gather next to the stage where they weigh in and they can be there for, you know, half an hour, whatever, before they weigh in at least 15 minutes. But Dylan White refused to be in there and he apparently stayed in the car and it only came when they called his name, did his interview, said that he was pissed off, then he left. So when you look back in retrospect, you think, okay, was he pissed off because he just heard this news about failing a test? Then you have several interviews that Dylan White did in the changing room after the fight. And he kept on talking about stuff that's going, that's been happening in camp. That it was a, it was a bad camp and there's been stuff going on behind the scenes. Again, was he alluding to this PED situation? this failed test, because at this point, it looks as though he might have been, because he wasn't specific, yeah, he didn't talk about injuries or anything like that, he just said, there's been stuff going on behind the scenes, and it hasn't been a good camp, and then you've got this Eddie Hearn interview right here, which was on Monday, and he was obviously talking about, you know, several things, AJ Ruiz too, and all kinds of stuff, and in this interview, Eddie Hearn wasn't his usual jovial, cheeky, chappy self. He was actually quite tetchy and I thought quite rude with Umar for no good reason. To me, Eddie Hearn in this interview lacks, looks like a stressed man. And obviously, he spread himself very thin these days. He's all over in the United States. He's got shows in Italy and Spain and all over the world. So the nature of his job is going to stress him out. But I'm wondering if the Dylan White failed PED test is putting extra stress and strain on Eddie Hearn, which is why he might have been so tetchy with Umar in this interview. And there's also the Andy Ruiz situation. And I'm going to talk about that because Andy Ruiz has kind of responded to this news that Dylan White has failed a PED test. And he's responded by saying, He's not going to the UK. 
to fight the rematch with AJ. So as I say, I'll do a separate video about that. Is that stressing Eddie Hearn out too? So let me know what you guys think. Did Dylan White drop some clues, drop some hints before and after the Rivas fight, before this news came out? Did he drop some clues and hints that what it says in this article is accurate? That he knew of his failed test before the Oscar Rivas fight? I guess we might find out in due course. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.